Street vendors now have rules they must abide by, and I don't know. All right, so Clark County, uh, they unanimously approved new rules. Clark County commissioners yesterday, uh, the rules, I agree with some of them. I don't agree with some of them. Got to have proper health district documentation. Yes, although it's part of the fun, <laughs> yeah. figuring out which ones are good and which ones are not. Yeah. Um, you have to uh, have a, a permit through the, the, the county every year. I think it's $150 permit every year. Okay, fine. Got to pay bad. the vague. Mm-hmm. Sure. That's closed by 9 p.m., no. That's lame. Yeah. That's lame. Like, I get it. If, like, if you're within earshot of, like, a, and you're, especially if you're noisy. I, if, but, yeah. Of a, of a house. But How usually it's noisy. in front of a CVS. Uh-huh. So, like, just let it be there till one. Come on. Yeah. So, they can't serve food past nine, but yet uh, the firework things are open 24 hours, yeah. seven days a week. This is what I'm saying. That, that one's, that's a little, and also, like, that's when I... I notice it the most. You get a nice little line over there mm-hmm. on the sidewalk, Durango and Warm Springs. Boom, they're making some food there. And it's like 11, 11.30 at night, and you're tempted to get out of your car and just go check it out. Is that um, for, like, food trucks as well? No, or is this it just, is specifically for, for street the, vendors. Yeah. Uh, they have to stay away from schools and intersections by 500, uh, 500 feet from schools and then, like, I think X amount of feet from intersections. I'm I, okay I, with... The schools I get, intersections... Maybe I get, but like that's also where I always maybe see them it's just set up. for their safety. Maybe, but how, how many yards away from an intersection? I, I, I think it was uh, like fifteen. You know, not not I many. Know. Fifteen, fifty, whatever cases. Yeah. Uh, full stories on our website one zero two seven vgs dot com. All the details are there, and I hear they're the cat's pajamas. Mm-hmm. Uh, funeral services took place yesterday for attorney Dennis Prince, who, along with his wife Ashley, were murdered in a custody de- uh, deposition by Ashley's former father-in-law, himself a lawyer. His family asked that in lieu of flowers, donations be made to the Shade Tree and the Nevada Association of Women Attorneys. Um, and I know that there's, uh, you know, now the question is like, okay, where was the court here? Like, wh- mm-hmm. how, how did it get to this point? Mm-hmm. Why were they in his law firm? Why wasn't this on video chat? The mm-hmm. whole deal. Uh, just very, very, very sad, the whole story all the way around. An office complex off R- St. Rose and Paseo Verde Parkway there in Henderson, about to be transformed into a retail center featuring shopping, restaurants, and more. The location just off the 215, expected to open next summer. It's right near the district of Green Valley Ranch mm-hmm. and that Lifetime Fitness right mm-hmm. there. Like, it's prime, yeah. prime, prime spot. So now it's like a little bit competition, I guess, for, for the district. Pro- yeah, pro- yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't know. It's 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 too uh, too nice to have an office complex. Mm-hmm. It's a perfect spot for like, I don't know. I want to go to a nice restaurant. Right. So that's going to be a really big hit for them. They're expecting to open by next summer. Uh, we've heard uh, even that bricks and minifigs place right off of Tropicana and uh, Fort Apache. They mm-hmm. got hit like three, four times oh, by right. robbers. Yes. Yeah, yeah. To- is it Legos, toys? Something yeah, all like, yeah. Lego stuff. Yeah. yeah, never like it's, it's. We just replaced the window. They broke mm-hmm. the window again. Well, this time no windows are broken, but another business in that Ford Apache Tropicana area got hit. This time it's game set match. They had about five thousand dollars of the pickleball gear stolen last week, including over a dozen paddles. They were putting them up their dress. Wow, it's <laughs> a lot of paddles, Man. and you don't hear like you would. You would think they would just. You, they would walk and just go. <laughs> yeah, you just think you'd hear a bunch mm-hmm. of uh, paddles paddling. Uh, whatever the case, they think it's an organized ring. I guess there was a big uh, robbery that happened on the east side on uh, at another spot, east, east side or Lake Me, wherever it might have been. And uh, about thirty thousand dollars of pickleball gear has been stolen in the past several months. There's a Walmart on the east side that had just closed down. They said, you know what? <sighs> We're losing money because they were getting robbed so often. This has been happening a lot Wal- in San, San Francisco. Oh, Walmart losing yeah. money? Huh? Yeah, exactly. Man. San Francisco shut, shutting down a lot of stuff. But, like, I've heard that the robbery situation here is just as bad as San Francisco, mm-hmm. if not worse. It's really bad here. From uh, Yeah, the Wal- there was, I don't know which one it was, but I was just reading that it closed down because they were losing so much money. They're like, we just... I mean, gosh. It's an, it's an easy fix. If you've ever been inside of a, of a Walgreens, Walgreens has it right. They have the two sliding glass doors usually. Yeah. You get the one and then you get the other. It's like that airlock right there. As, if they know that you've stolen, you lock the lock one on them. the outside and then the, 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 the inside one closes and then you lock them in like a rat. Yeah, Done. there you go. There it is. You're welcome. Just saved ourselves thousands of dollars with a Neutrogena. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, props to Nevada Senator Jackie Rosen, who at a hearing 
Uh, talking about the potential move of a uh, major postal service uh, facility. It would be moving from Reno to Sacramento to save money for whatever reason. I don't know. Uh, but she took Postmaster General and just a hateable dude overall, Louis DeJoy, to task for his pronunciation of Nevada. How so you didn't be specifically see Nevada. how it would impact Nevada veterans. That's actually unacceptable to me as well. I've again asked this, for in, this information over a, a month ago. point in Nevada... Okay, Nevada. Not, it's if, Nevada, sir. Please say it correctly. It's Nevada. If a veteran lives, lives at a delivery point, we would... He just there. doesn't even say yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't say it correct, don't say it at all. Is it Richard there, Harris? Is it Richard Harris? Yeah, he's not from here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My girlfriend's husband, I, I think he's from like New Mexico. He always says... It's, he says it incorrectly and will argue with me that it's not Nevada. And I'm like, I don't know why you would argue you've literally never been there uh, <laughs> like or here. Yeah, I'll say I'll say this much. Uh, it is Nevada. However, uh, you need to know that most of the states call you Nevada. Mm -hmm. You need to know it. Mm -hmm. Like, you need to know. Uh, and honestly, there needs to be like, you know, all that. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas money. How about we put a little bit of that in the, hey, by the way, it's Nevada money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that'd be good. Uh, Vegas Golden Knights giving away $50 of free gas to the first 400 cars that show up this morning starting at 7.30 in the morning at the Smiths location at Warm Springs near Durango. Chances are the 400 people are already in line. You know, Guaranteed. It turns out to be a madhouse. So, Guaranteed. Um, there we go. If you ever want to see Chance pump gas, there's your mm -hmm. chance. Oh, yep. speaking of the Golden Knights. <laughs> Beating Chicago 3-1 yesterday. Almost a shutout, too. Final game of the regular season is Thursday versus the Ducks. They slide in the third in the Pacific Ooh. because things are kind of working out that way, yeah. which is pretty fancy. Uh, Las Vegas Aviators, they got trounced by Tacoma. I don't even want to say the score, but I have to because it's my journalistic duty. 14 to nothing. Mm. Ouch. Next game is uh, game two of six. That's tonight at Las Vegas Ballpark. The Vegas Thrill face the Columbus Fury tonight at the Forum for crossover night. That's a Golden Knights uh, product. Okay. Chance is going to be exhausted. I know. It's a lot. Pumping wow. gas this morning. Man, oh, yeah. man. Give him a break. Fi and working last night. <sighs> Yikes. Final game for the Arizona Coyotes is tonight. You're probably saying, why am I mentioning that? Because this could very well be their final game in Arizona, period. Mm -hmm. uh, team struggling to find an arena in the Phoenix area. have been playing at a small college rank for the past couple seasons. They're expected to make the move to Salt Lake City for next season, and that announcement could come any day now. And the WNBA draft shattered their ratings record, bringing in nearly 2.5 million viewers. The first time the WNBA draft ever had over a million viewers. There is a really solid chance that we may have crossed a precipice, or precipice mm -hmm. and boom, we may have gotten the WNBA mm -hmm. where it needs to be. This is great. Caitlin Clark, whoever we have to give credit to, amazing. Las Vegas weather. It is currently 58 degrees. It's a high of 86 today. I think this is the hottest day we've had all year. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it.